हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू ई कॉमर्स प्रोजेक्ट इन लारावेल लास्ट वीडियो वी डिस्कस हाउ टू मेक अ क्लीनिंग कोड्स सपोज वी नीड टू मेक लाइक ऑल द क्लीनिंग कोड लाइक अ शॉप इन साइड वी हर डिड लाइक अ क्लीनिंग आल्सो वी हर डिड लाइक इन साइड फूटर्स वी हर प्रोवाइड लाइक सम लिंक्स वी हर डिड लाइक लॉट्स ऑफ थिंग इन साइड लास्ट वीडियो सो इन दिस वीडियो वी कैन कंटिन्यू मेकिंग डायनेमिक कैटेगरी आई हैव ऑलरेडी एड सम कैटेगरी लाइक प्रोफेशनल कैटेगरी इन साइड माई एडमिन पैनल सो यू कैन सी इट लाइक दिस इज द मेन कैटेगरी इलेक्ट्रॉनिक फैशन होम एंड फर्नीचर ब्यूटी एंड पर्सनल केयर बुक मूवीज एंड म्यूजिक्स टॉय एंड गेम्स स्पॉट एंड आउटडोर्स ज्वेलरी एंड वॉचेज ओके सो आई ऑलरेडी मेड लाइक अ कैटेगरी सो दिस इज द कैटेगरी नेम लाइक दिस इज द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सो यू कैन फाइंड आउट इन साइड अयर टाइटल एंड नाउ हियर यू कैन सी इट सब कैटेगरी सो सपोज आई गो टू सब कैटेगरी लिस्ट सो आई हैव ऑलरेडी एड सम सब कैटेगरी इन साइड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सब कैटेगरी आई एड ऑल्सो आई एड इन साइड फैशन इन साइड सम सब कैटेगरी एंड होम एंड फर्नीचर इन साइड ऑल्सो आई एड सम सब कैटेगरीज ओके मीन दिस इज द मेन कैटेगरी नेम दिस लाइक सब कैटेगरी नेम सो लेट्स वी कैन स्टार्ट एंड वी कैन मेक इट हियर डायनेमिक ओके सो यू कैन सी इट एंड आई वॉन्ट रिक्वेस्ट यू आर न्यू इन दिस चैनल अदरवाइज इन दिस सीरीज सो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब एंड प्लीज प्रेस द बेल आइकॉन सो वॉट एवर वीडियो आई विल अपलोड यू सो यू ऑलवेज गेट अ नोटिफिकेशन and you can learn something new because right now i am showing the like uh, category and sub category work with how we can make it like a slug work like why we have made like admin set slug so how it look your show your url because seo friendly and we have added like meta title so do you want to add a more meta title so you can do it inside edit and you can add here meta titles okay this is the for seo it is not our dependency it is your dependency okay i just show you how we can works so let's start and we can show like category and sub category display uh, here okay so open your projects i already open my projects so let's go to minus means zoom out so you can see it clearly just go to views inside layout inside added dot blade dot php i know here is a different menu also work like a mobile menu but right now i am not explaining explain mobile menu just explain like a desktop menu okay so just go to let's make some zoom outs and here you can see it like our category works so just we need to get our main category so what we need to do just we can start like a php and php okay here i can make variable name get category headers okay this is the our variable name inside where is the our path there so app models so inside we can go like app inside models so we need to check like let's go to app is a model instead we need to go to category model so just copy this name okay and after you need to put like a one function name so which is the function name we can use i think we can use like get record active so this is the function i already done like a category is equal to stars where is is not deleted and also is a status is equal to zero means active and order by as a name wise so you can see it like name wise our category name like here like a b c d like this so the, otherwise you can see it like a different way whatever do you want to like you can like let's make it new one i don't want to use this like order by this is the for admin so order by name we don't need just we can leave it and i remove this one order by name and here i can change like a get record menu because this is the menu category okay so just category and we have already made join query so we know which created by so also we can show it here we don't want to show but is a like a safety so but anybody can there like other user you can add so no need to show is a join query is a safe okay just copy this name and you can put here now sorry what i did okay now inside you getting the our category data let's make it here so look like better so here you can get our category model data okay let's make it same equal now we need to run our for each loop so let's make a one for each loop category has dollar value we can make unique name category headers okay so we know okay this is the category headers and here i can make like a and for each okay let's save this files and just go back and we can refresh the page both file you need to save once you can save after you need to go back to our main side and refresh the page so you can see it no any errors and also you can see it like this showing 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so here you can see it like a 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 let's make sure the name so simple here you are getting the name like a so you can change here like a name 
you are no need a name direct set simple because database column name is a name let me open the database and i can show you i have already opened the database and need to go like a category tables so you can see it here like name column you can see so this name column i have a print here you can see it here okay so let's save these files and just go back again refresh the page and you can see it sorry here so you can see it, electronic fashion home and furniture beauty and personal care books toy game spot outdoor so do you want to add new one so also you can see it here so this is the working very well no issue let's show now subcategory so do you want to show your subcategory so how we can show it subcategory so right now we're clicking this electronics so we need to go to inside electronics so what we need to do we have already developed here slug you can see it so this slug we need to pass in our url so simple just copy inside all things and here you can do it like a url and said you can pass slug like this okay and after you can save and just go back again and try is working not working so simply way you can just refresh the page and you can click on the electronics so you see is working very well but this is the page we have not created this reason we don't know and suppose i can go to like a home and furniture so also can working you can see it whatever slug i provide here so this slug against is working very well you can see it here so this is the not big deal is working very well so okay so let's go back again so here we are provided like a urls now we need to start to print our sub category so just go to category model category model inside we need to get a sub category so just go to like any controller so we can see it so same thing we can use like as many suppose you can go to go, go to sub category model so this is the sub category model inside our category id there you can see it so let's use here the as more and we can get the data otherwise you can do it like like this like category id you can pass like under parameter so also can possible but we can i can think we can do it as more as many and we can get the data so here just need to create a new function so go to any models and we can copy suppose here's there get color so just copy and put here and here i can make like a get sub category okay and here i can change to sub category model so just you can change your sub category model sub category model inside which id against we need to check in a category id so here's a let's open the sub category model and we can check here like uh, go to sub category so here you can see it like category id against we need to check so just copy and paste here okay now we need to make some condition like he is active he is not deleted so simply just you can use like where here you can make it like a go to sub category status is equal to zero and delete is delete is equal to zero also dot status is equal to zero same thing we can do it inside a is delete so just copy and you can paste here and you can change here like a is delete okay so here you are getting all the sub category so how we can use in our header side so this is very simple just you can use like here for each loop please carefully watch the code is i think is a good so error generated so we can fix the error so don't worry about that okay so let's go back then add.blade.php and here i can use like a for each again so for each we can how we can use just you can copy this variable and this variable means this variable inside data there so also is data available for the sub category because we have made a here relationship so just copy and paste and here we can do it like another variable name like value h and sub category h means header so we can do it like this and here you can make like a sub okay so simple way we can type here and here i can make like an and for each and i just remove all the bottom one i don't want to need this okay so let's go back again and we can check is working not working so look like better we can understand easily so just go back again and refresh the page so you can see it's electronics working but here is no any sub category available this reason is not working like electronics fashions home furnitures is everything working very well no issue now you can see it here 
okay so let's provide his name here so simple same thing we have did inside category so same thing we can do it inside a subcategory just removing this line and we can do it here okay let's print now here we can copy and we can put here like a name simple way okay just you can put name and after you need to go back again and you can refresh so you can see it here just go to back and you can see it like a smart wash fashion accessories gaming like fashion also say kitchen inside i will not add like few parts two categories only add so two category showing here same thing admin side suppose we can go inside sub category so you can see it like a two category here okay because i already added two here this reasons okay now next we need to provide like url so this is the sub category url how it's work suppose you can go to amazon flipkart so he provide like first category name after he can provide like a sub category name so same thing we can do it here so what we need to do first we need to pass here like a category name like category url so like this is very simple and very easy to use okay url so first url which url like a header one so this is the header one. let's make it small name because it's very big name this is like a h and c let's make a h c means header category and i can change here every place okay so look like small because otherwise showing very big just we can change here and we can pass like a slug now we need to put here dot and inside double quote we need to pass our slash so we need to divide and here we need to pass our subcategory slug so let's copy for this one and we can put here let's uh, let's make a proper width so you can see it proper like this like a slug so this slug you can see it here we have developed like this if you can see it here inside a subcategory list you can see this slug and here is the database inside you can see it also slug see so same thing we have passed here first we have did like a category like a main category slug after we did here like a subcategory slug okay so let's make a paste now we don't need i just show you this reason i have move up and everything is working very well now just go back again refresh the page so we can see it is working not working so just go to inside and i click on the smart watch so you can see it first we are showing the main category and after you can see it like a sub category suppose i can go here so you can see it this one like electronics so is a electronics category slugs and after is a smart watch accessories so it is a very simple and very use 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 just you can click in your kids so here showing the first fashions after showing the kid clothing so look like a professional seo so when i go to men so you can see fashions inside men clothing same thing you can do it like a whatever place you can give it, like a like a shoes and flower so whatever do you want to add admin side shoes and flowers so you can see it here like everything is working whatever do you here is admin side like this slug so automatic here work we have made all thing dynamics so this is the main use about the category and sub category like a seo related once you can click here so we can make a query and we can find out meta title meta description and meta keywords and lots of things there about seo but i will explain like three or four point after we can understand how we can make implement like other one inside a seo now i hope you are clear how to work here like categories and sub categories suppose i will add here admin side like a beauty and personal care and to add another sub category so just you can go to add and here you can choose like a beauty and personal care and after you need to go because i already list out all the because skin care okay i just show you some of the examples skin care my that i will skin care and i just make it remove the as capital and making small and i just save now i can go to back again refresh the page so you can see it is not showing showing means skin care suppose i can make like inactive right now active there okay suppose here i can make like inactive and i just update so i just go back again refresh the page so you can see it here not showing because the inactive because of we have already pass here condition like a data is equal to zero means active one means a inactive this is in here not showing so let's go back again we can make it live again active and show also back again same thing you can add like multiple categories so what do you want to add again 
so i already list some category makeup so just go to back and i can choose here like a, again like a beauty and fashions and i titles and here is a and also i can make like a makeup and i just save i just back again I refresh the page so you can see it like a skincare after makeup so same thing you can do it all just i will give the example so do you want to see like this all categories so you can see it here because i will list out my other project wise and otherwise you can use any ai tools and you can get this category name so also possible because i also is a find out in an inside an ai tools chat gtp you can use also you can do it okay you know about that and you can use it i think you don't know so i will create a new series about chat gtp and i will explain how to write article what is the best way you can write a coding and how we can implement in our real project i will show you everything new series in set chat gtp tutorial and we can do it with php so you can ex understanding okay php inside how works how it's work like a chat gtp so don't worry this is the like a going to very big channel so everything you can find out step by step and uh, in this video i have explained how to made a like a category and sub category in a front side dynamic okay and i hope you can understand everything so do you have any questions so please comment down do you want to like this video so please like and do you want to see like this video more so please subscribe our channel and please share this is the series to your friend so he can learn something new i hope also your friend can enjoy he can making like good programmer okay thank you for watching